where? Did we lose it? I, I think so. Lucky it moves so slowly. What was it? Surely no one could devise a prank as bizarre as that. It, it looked like a biped. It, it was humanoid, but I don't think it was a human. <laughs> I've never heard of a human made of metal and burlap. A murder, the dome, and now this. I know not who's behind these trickeries, but they must have been have a death wish to mock me so. For now, look, we have to get back to the lab. We need to warn Nanaki Sensei. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Kaoraku. Would you like some tea? <laughs> we, we would actually very much like tea, <laughs> Sensei. <laughs> I, is this really the time? We cannot afford to relax now, Sensei. Hmm. So, I take it something's happened. Uh, uh, the headmaster! He must have been hiding from the scarecrow. It smashed the window. Calm yourself, Kawada. You've be you've become incoherent. Come. We were attacked by a giant creature outside the headmaster's office. It was a bizarre thing, like a scarecrow in appearance. A scarecrow. Ooh. Mm. Like the ones humans used to make. It attacked us and we ran back here. It was slow, but its arm was heavy and dangerous. Are there other students still in, gym in the gymnasium? Probably not all of them. If there's something dangerous in here, we should probably tell every birdie to stay together in the gym. Uh, mm. <laughs> the plot thickens indeed. Not only are we trapped under this confounded dome, but now it seems we must contend with this monstrous new guest. I wonder what the Scarecrow Man's connection to all this is. A Scarecrow Man, you say? Sensei! Fascinating. I've never cut into one of those. I'd love Thank to you, get murder it. pigeon. I'd love to get my hands on it. <laughs> Have you finished the autopsy, Sensei? Yes, for now. I was awake here the whole time. Don't worry. Thank you, Sensei. sensei. Arigato, Nanaki Sensei. Hmm. You two may well have a right to know what I've found, given your efforts toward the investigation. I shall try to state simply and briefly what I have learned from the lumps of meat which was once, once which once were Miss Tosakasa. Control yourself, Kawada. Falling out among ourselves would only do us harm. <laughs> anyway, we lack the tools for a proper examination, but the cause of death was asphyxiation. There were no signs of any strangulation or smothering, so she was either poisoned or sick. She was dismembered after death then, Doctor. It would appear so. There is little evidence of bleeding, so we may assume that she was cut up in some time cut up some time after death. 
Kyoko was one of the healthiest people I know. She couldn't have become that sick that quickly. Meaning, someone poisoned her. Why? For the sake of the grotesque, or to make her easier to carry, and for some other reason. Disgusting either way. I suppose I sh should also tell you the estimated time of death. Obviously, I cannot be completely certain, but I believe that Miss Tosaka Tosaka-san died yesterday after school. In the evening, then. Precisely. And she was found this morning. In other words, unless she was seen yesterday afternoon, she may have been here all along. Kawara, her house was near yours, was it not? Did you see her yesterday? After school? Um... No, I didn't. My mother asked me to run some errands, so I went straight home yesterday. That's right. I went home alone. It's too late to regret it now. But maybe if I just asked her to walk home with me. I see. Perhaps we should ask any other students with whom she was close. You're going out again? Be careful. It sounds like wandering around the school could be dangerous. Don't worry. We can outrun the Scarecrow if it shows up again. Incidentally, I went home early yesterday, too. I left as soon as class ended. So, I only know what Yota has told me. I wish I had some useful information, but... I was in the infirmary right up until I returned home, as usual. I know nothing of what happened in the rest of the school, sadly. <laughs> Lying out of your beak, I'm sure. <laughs> so, neither Nanaki-sensei or Iwamiya-sensei saw Hyoko yesterday afternoon. Ah, uh, Soda! Could we ask a favor of you, Nanaki-sensei? A favor? The headmaster's office is locked. We think he might be hiding in there. If there's a spare key to his door, could we use it? A spare key? Hmm, yes. There should be one in the faculty room. I'll ask the vice principal for you. Thank you, sir. We'll be back soon. Be careful out there. You too, sensei. Kawada is a strange boy. I wonder why he lied about going straight home. What? What? I don't remember this part. <laughs> what do you mean, Nibla? What? 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 Well, fiddlesticks. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't sound quite right to us, even, because, hey, he was in the infirmary after school, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. Was... Hmm. Jesus, fuck. The mystery deepens! <laughs> the plot thickens! The plot thickens. We won't be able to talk to the headmaster until we have that key. Let us work on the murder case until then. Ooh. We should ask every birdie where they were yesterday. The doctor said he was in the infirmary until he went home. I wonder if we can trust him. Do not bias yourself with baseless suspicions, Kawara. Wakateru. Mm. I think maybe you trust him a little too easily, Sakuya. He's a world authority, but that doesn't make him honest. You know nothing of what that means. The head of the Lebel fa family, my father, was once crippled with chronic illness. Oh. He was cured by medicines developed by Iwamiya Sensei. He makes medicine? <laughs> Save the sleep talk for your dreams. Have you no idea what contributions he has made to the medical world? I, I didn't know. 
I thought he was some kind of mad scientist cooking up nothing but death and all around whoa. Well, he does that too, but Yeah. <laughs> on the <laughs> side. <laughs> You've become biased by the foolish rumors of the peasantry. Reconsider yourself. In any case, the LaBelle family is indebted to him. A noble bird will never treat a benefactor with disrespect. So that's why he's so polite to the doctor. Doesn't that make him biased as well, though? <laughs> it's gummy, it's gummy. Anyway, let's go. Very well. Oh. I guess we could go to the gym first. Mm. The students in the gymnasium have grown somewhat restless since the evacuation. Shut up with no explanation, and now there's a suspicious individual wandering the campus. I guess even doves lose, lose their cool eventually. Sun! Sun! Where are you? Cool. Oko-san is right here, alive and well. So far. Cool, cool. Where did you and Sakya go? Leaving Oko-san behind and going outside is not fair. You'd just confuse the issue if we brought you along. We came back because we had a question for you. Cool. Come at me, whippersnapper. Uh, that's not what I... Uh, you usually practice on the ground after school, right? Cool, cool. Of course, it is Oko-san's duty as track captain. Did you see Hyoko while you were out there yesterday? Cool. No, Oko-san did not see her then, or as he was going home. Can we really be sure that he would have noticed her even if she had been there while he was running? Oh, good point. Cool, cool. Do not look down on Oko-san's visual memory. Cool. If you had asked Oko-san about the blood-stained interloper he saw, then he would have something to say. Jesus. What? Just wait, son. What did you just? Cool, cool. Do not look down on Oko-san's visual memory. After that, you imbecile. Cool. If you had asked Oko-san about the blood-stained interloper he saw. Then he would have something to say. Cool, cool. Oko-san saw the interloper going to the infirmary. The infirmary? Could that have been Kyoko? She wouldn't have been stained with blood until after she died. She was a bit hyper, but I don't think she'd still be walking around at that point. Cool. It was not Kyoko. It was a bird unknown to Oko-san. So... Someone covered in blood was going into the infirmary after school? Who? Whoever he is, he's our prime su suspect now. Thanks for telling us, son. Uh, uh, that wouldn't have been Angel by any chance, would it have? <laughs> hmm? Hmm? I said. Actually, that... actually, it might if he thought his plumage was blood. I don't actually know. Hmm. At least we found something. <laughs> I'm just walking in off. <laughs> Here, I'll just walk off my horrible dismemberment. <laughs> At least we found something, even if it raises more questions than it answers. Ugh. Some bird whose son doesn't know. Could it have been someone from outside the school? It's past noon already. Let us hurry onwards. Munch, munch. Onisa! You two again. Come in. How goes the investigation? Well, I hope. We went to the headmaster's office as you requested. It was locked, however. Mm. We got attacked by this weird thing outside there. 
I'm glad you're okay. The office isn't that far from... Was that thing a muddy scarecrow-like man, perhaps? You, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I will little, literally be happy every time Yuya shows up. Yuya will save us from the sad. I hope. <laughs> Can yeah. anyone really save us from the sadness? Yuya's theme! <laughs> so, you've seen it too. Just now, yeah. On the second floor. I caught a glimpse of it from behind at the other end of the corridor, and didn't stick around to let it see me. So alas, I was not blessed with a look at its pretty face. Coward. Hey, we ran away as soon as we saw it, too. Anyway, it's it sounds like it's wandering around the building. Maybe it would be better for you to leave, Ornisan. Or 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 Don't worry for me, young one. My duties prevent me from leaving this room. You two aren't planning to call off your investigation because of a bad guy or two, either. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Already stuck in the rut of unadaptable middle age? Don't come crying to us if, we, if you get hurt. I've come within touching distance of death in the past. I will be fine. I wonder what kind of death comes that close to a maintenance worker. <laughs> <laughs> then again, knowing the school, there could be all kinds of evil going on behind the scenes. Well then, what are you standing around here? Uh, standing around for? I believe orders were given for everyone to gather in the gymnasium to avoid the scarecrow. Same goes for you. Why aren't you headed over there? Uh, <laughs> Erp, Sakuya 2014. <laughs> I can't just sit around. Indeed, same here. Hence, walking around the school. On that note, I'd better go b to the lab. Nanaki sensei wanted me there. What for? Something you asked him to do. Oh. Ah, uh, he wants you to help him keep an eye on Dr. Iwamiya sensei. Most likely, yes. The doctor and Hyoko chan, that is. Anyway, you two go on with your investigation. I'll be watching over her, so don't worry. <laughs> Mate. Hi. According to the autopsy, Tosaka died after school yesterday. Did you see her during that time? Yesterday evening, huh? What did the doctor say? Just that he'd been in the infirmary all day. I was there too. We were inspecting and cleaning all day, so I can verify the doctor's alibi. I told you not to doubt him without evidence, Kawara. Ah, uh, right. At this point, the prime suspect is that scarecrow, anyway. That's everything? Well, adieu. We should head out, too. But first, let's write down what we found. Alright, let's go. And so we walked at about the school, searching for clues of Hyoko and the mysterious bloodstained stranger. We were lucky enough to avoid encountering the Scarecrow, but we didn't find any information either. Where to now? Hmm. Nanaki has probably gotten the key for us by now. Let us return to the lab. Bakata. What is it? Say something just now? I did not. Could it be that confounded scarecrow again? No, it's not him. I thought I heard somebody say something. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. Uh, though we've been walking around half the day, it's hardly surprising that your mind should be playing tricks on you. This is. the library. 
What if there's some birdie in here? They might not have heard the alarm. Let's check. Very well. Far removed from the emergency throughout the rest of the school, the library is the same as always. Empty. So, y you were just saying about Nanaki? <laughs> uh, Nagaki? <laughs> Nagaki. We're old. It is a little gloomier than usual. I guess there's no one here. Pull yourself together, Kawada. I have no use for subordinates who lose hold of their sanity. Since when am I your subordinate? Gome Sakya, let's head back to the lab. Something... Something bad happened. I should have known what would happen after this. If it hadn't been for me, none of it would have happened at all. Eh? No, yeah, he? Question mark, exclamation point? Sad ghost baby, just why you gotta keep being sad? What was I trying to do here? What did I see? Why can't I remember? I can't hear. What are you saying? You are fading away. It's too far. Tosaka-san. Nanaki-sensei. Welcome back. Have you found anything interesting? Yet another suspicious individual. But we should speak with the headmaster first. Have you gotten the key? Yes, I have. Right here. Thank you, Sensei. I feel like I'm having trouble distinguishing birds at this point. God, it's okay. It's a lot of birds. It's so much birds. Well, let's go have a look, shall we? The doctor and I will be here. Be careful. Adieu. Clear left. Clear right. Good. Doesn't look like the scarecrow is here. That's good. If I had to fly away from something like that, I might panic and hit the ceiling. <laughs> Nanaki sensei! <laughs> oh, right. Coils' reflex when startled is to fly straight up. <laughs> we should hear it dragging its arm when it moves, so we'll have plenty of time to get away. Let's go in. Right, right. Let's see. The headmaster, who gathered us all in the gym without any real explanation. How many of our questions would be he be able to answer? Sumimasen! Oh my gosh, what is up with that dog? <laughs> <laughs> what is it that what is it that dog? I I Maybe he's not here? Man, I feel like this- this- the headmaster's room looks really different too now that they updated it. Mm -hmm. Most of the rooms do because they really changed all the backgrounds. Mm hmm. Hmm. That or hiding. There's some birdie at the desk. He's sitting with his back to us. But his feathers are the unmistakable green of a nickel bar. Nickel bar? Speak 
to us, Headmaster. Have you gone deaf? Sakya, be polite. Japan is the country of courtesy, after all. Is it his fault or mine that we had to come here? Headmaster, will you... Th this... Sakya? The thing here is no longer the headmaster. His half-closed eyes are dull and cloudy. The skin showing beneath his feathers is pallid. What? What madness? H him too? Second class. End. Oh, what did I skip? Like, a thing popped up and then right as I clicked and it immediately went away. Oh gosh. Anyway. Third class. Sorry, more lunching. <laughs> Poisoning. Only a few hours ago. I believe he was already dead when the announcement was broadcasted this morning. I checked... I checked his broadcasting equipment, and it looks like they put the video together from last year's disaster drill footage. <coughs> Whoops. Meaning, some bird had killed the headmaster and gathered everyone else in the gym. Why would anyone? There's no explanation but mere obscene delight in the grotesque. I think we may all be vastly underestimating the magnitude of whatever's going on. It might be better if we kept this to ourselves for now. I concur. Until we have a proper grasp of the situation, telling the others would only cause unnecessary panic. First Hyoko, and now the headmaster, both poisoned. Were they killed by the same person? More rationally, they must have had a reason for killing him and fabricating the broadcast. This must be connected to the quarantine. Since we're finally here, let us search for some clues, Kawada. Mm. Easier said than done. Every shelf in this office is piled high with documents and papers. Where do we even start? Shit is really getting real at this point. <laughs> yeah, no, shit gets so fucking real. <laughs> Welcome to Hurtful Boyfriend. Incompetent feral. Examine each piece one at a time, looking for anything about emergency procedures, plans of the school. Got it. PTA records. Uh, that's on it. Demographics for dummies. Nope. Transfer students. Wait, next to that is... The human representative? That must mean Hyoko. And the date is from two years ago, right before she enrolled. It's not really related to today's incidents, but it might have something useful. There doesn't appear to be anything about converting the school into a shelter. Anything this large scale would have to leave some sort of paper trail were it official. Hang on, Sakya. What are you reading, Kawada? This. The human representative? It's locked, even though none of the others are. 
A minority representative is no more important than a transfer student or the like. There's no need to have it sealed up in like a criminal record. I wonder what's written in here. We can't exactly ask the headmaster to open it for us. I don't suppose the key is in here somewhere. Maybe we should ask Mr. One for help? Do you intend to break it open? Yeah, it'll be faster than looking around for the key. And... That? I was wondering about that, about it as well. That thing on his desk, some sort of control panel? Whatever it is, it's suspicious. I believe it is a control panel for some machine, yes. And spread out next to it is... The dome. Maybe this is controls for the dome, or the hatch we saw earlier. One Ona did postulate that it would be in here. Locked, of course. I doubt we will find it easy to break that one. Mm. All the same, we have some actual hope of getting out of here now. Even just that is comforting. Let's go talk to Onesense. Uh, Onesa. I think we have exhausted the possibilities of this room for the time being. Let us go. Kawada-san. <clears throat> Kawada-san. Yes, sir? <laughs> I see you have yet to lose your open distrust of me. Well, two people have been poisoned. Yota's having none of his shit. <laughs> none of it. Never trust murder pigeon. We have evidence that the perpetrator went into the infirmary. It's sort of hard not to doubt you a little, sir. Not too hard for Sakya, though. Mm -hmm. How honest of you. Did you find it yet? The thing you forgot about. The thing I forgot about? He must be talking about what he said earlier. No. I'm not convinced you're just trying to- you're not just trying to mess with me. Are you sure you're not trying to keep me from finding something you thought no birdie can- no birdie knew about? How cruel, Mr. Kawada. Your boundless suspicion wounds me. He doesn't look wounded at all. More like amused. I have no reason to regret your solving this mystery. Kawarasa, let me give you another hint. There are no riddles here. If you want to find the truth, you need only keep going. You need not use your brain at all. What are you talking about? No riddles? Wait, not that... You mean to say that you know the truth already? Well, who knows? If you do, tell me! I told you, you need only keep going. Everything here is a plot that was laid out just for you, after all. Just for me? How long must you babble, Kawada? Come, koi! Go in. I take it this is a challenge, Doctor? Hmm. You may take it that way, if you so wish. I swear I will find the truth. And if I find that you killed Hyoko... <laughs> oh, I do look forward to seeing what sort of answer you find. God damn it, every time I have to do his voice. <laughs> I probably sound like a dumb. No, you sound kind of fabulous. <laughs> well, it's terrifying, but fabulous. Onesa. You two again. 
What is it? We explained to Onisan what we found in the headmaster's office. The plot thickens, I see. We think this file may be connected to the mystery. Can you unlock it? Or break it? Let me see. Hmm. This will be rather troublesome. It's just a lock, right? Forcing it was resulting in spontaneous combustion. What? Why would they put something like that on a bunch of ordinary documents? Perhaps because these documents are not ordinary. All the same, I have dealt with similar things in the past. It will take time, but I believe I can open it. So, diffusing bombs falls under maintenance operations? Do not forget, I'm not just a maintenance worker. I am a bright and massive maintenance worker. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Onisa. Onisa. <laughs> to do with anything. So, maintenance work in Japan requires a number of skills. I am impressed. Uh, I think Miss Onisan is the only... Oh, right. Can we ask you one more thing? I love how Ryota's tsukomi always just kind of trails off. <laughs> like, <laughs> he never quite finishes his tsukomi. <laughs> like, oh, I'm not gonna try. Oh, right, can we ask you one more thing? You may. We found a control panel that looks like it's for the dome as well, but it's locked. It seems to require a password. A password? Hmm. Ask Sakazaki-san for help. Yuhiya? He is a master of unauthorized access. Oh my god! Oh my god. Hacker secret agent boyfriend. I am I am all sorts of okay with this. So okay. Yeah yeah. So that wretched mongrel has lowered himself to crime. I never knew he could. Oh, Saki, I just let it go. We need his help here. I shall take care of this folder then. I can't say for sure, but it should be done by the time you and Sakazaki-san get, get back. Alright. Arigato. We should probably write all this down since we're here. Where is Yuya right now? Either in the lab or possi possibly... Possibly... <laughs> <laughs> Either in the lab or possibly gallivanting around like a nincompoop. <laughs> This would be a lot easier if we could use our phones, but we can't. Off to the lab. Here we are. I wonder if he's still in here. As we turn the corner... Man blocks our path. <laughs> Evolve, Sakya, Nigeno. <laughs> okay, good night, Anair. Yes, I will. <laughs> I will upload the pods. Let's make sure everybody can see the exciting conclusion. <laughs> Don't order me around, Feral! run in different directions. Yes. I hope he's okay. Oh, of 
all the times to run into that thing again. If it's lying in wait for us like that, we can't rely on the noise of its arm to find it. And the dome makes the building dark, so it's hard to see. I'd better be careful. Where is it now? I want to head straight to the lab, but... Did I just hear something? Uh, uh, what are you doing in here all alone? Did you see the wall outside? There's been an emergency and every birdie's supposed to gather in the gym. You should... Your... Kaoru Yota. Uh, he knows my name? Have I met him somewhere before? Yeah, uh, have we met before? The unfamiliar morning dove shakes his head. This is the first time we've spoken. Then why do you know my name? She told me. Tosaka-san. Hyoko. Oh, right. Didn't she say she made friends with a freshman who's in the library all the time? Can I ask your name? Ujishiro Nageki. You were friends with Hyoko then? Um, did you maybe see her after school yesterday? Was she acting strange at all, or... Oh, shoot. He didn't hear the emergency broadcast, so he probably doesn't know what happened to her, either. Um... She's... <sighs> don't worry about it. You don't have to explain again. Eh? I already know. Oh. She washed up here and spoke to me. Which can only mean one thing. She's dead. He doesn't exactly make things easy to understand. Almost as if he's talking to himself and doesn't care whether or not his interlocutor knows what he means. Wow, interlocutor? Getting all fancy here, translator. <laughs> She washed up here. Do you mean yesterday? If you know anything about what happened to her last night, please tell me. I do not. Tosaka-san did not come to the library after school yesterday. Hmm, so she didn't come here either? Thanks. I need to hurry back to the chemistry lab, and you should probably get out of here too. There's a suspicious individual in the building. It was not yesterday that Tosaka-san came here. It was... just now. Eh? He's gone. The morning dove who just spoke to me has disappeared. Did he go to the gym? I hope so. I don't really want to consider the possibility, but maybe Sakya's right. Maybe I am going crazy. I have to last long enough to find the killer. No, he's your ghost friend. You're late, Kawada. Blasted feral doves. Sakya, you're safe. He was pretty worried about you, Ryota. He couldn't sit still the entire time you were gone. Silence, mongrel! <laughs> I wasn't... I wasn't worried or anything, Baka! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Arigato. Sorry for worrying, Sakya. Anyway, Sakya filled me in on your adventures. You want me to hack into the headmaster's computer? Can you do it? Naturally. Just leave it to me. Come on, let's go. 
Skype muted itself, and I don't know when that happened. Oh, pff, what the frick? I've been talking most of this time. Whoop. Calling... Calling... Sakia soon and everything. And I didn't click mute after that, because I think you heard me. Uh, I don't I think... just I... happened to make the same joke that I did. <laughs> I think we did, because I didn't hear you. Like, basically, after... After he left Nagaki. I didn't hear you at all. <laughs> That's so weird. Like, literally, I was sitting there going, oh my god, so soon, and then you were like, it's not like I like you or anything, Raksha. So it's like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, us. We're just that in sync. <laughs> it's true. But yes, yeah, also you, yeah. You, yeah. Oh, welcome back, Kawada-kun. Sensei, about this control panel. What about it? Can't you tell? It must be the controls for that dome. Hmm, right. I suppose it could be. It's locked, though. We were going to have Yuya get, get into it for us, but... That's illegal, you know. That doesn't matter. Don't you comprehend our situation? I never said you shouldn't do it. We don't have much choice, do we? Go on. Thank you, Sensei. Well, having Nanaki Sensei's approval certainly helps my conscience. Let's see. He wakes up the computer, and before long, I have no idea what he's doing to it. <laughs> Master Hacker Pigeon! I'm just imagining him type like a crazy motherfucker with wings. Yes. Yes. Wings. Better fingers. Black, God. Black, black. God damn it. Wow. I wonder where he learned to do that. I imagine he spends his spare time stealing illegal X-rated videos off the intertubes. <laughs> the intertubes. <laughs> the intertubes, Sakya. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I'm crying. <laughs> videos can teach someone how to do this sort of thing? Uh, maybe no. we should watch more of them. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Yota, no. Yota, no. Your poor innocence. <laughs> there we go. Now then. There. We're logged in as the administrator. Woohoo! Huh. This only has an open and close button. I guess that's pretty straightforward. Well, I'll leave the rest of this to you two. If we press this button, either the dome itself or the hatch will probably open. But with the headmaster dead, we have no way of knowing what's happening outside. If... if there really is some terrible disaster, then opening the dome could put every birdie in danger. I wonder if Mom's at home. I hope she's okay. There's a dangerous individual wandering the premises, and the bird in charge is dead. I think it would be wise to open the dome now. That's true. We did get Yuya, st Yuya to help and everything. We should save. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. I 
say we I say we should open it. Yeah. Let's open it. We need to get everyone out of here. Agreed. And we can confirm once and for all that the talk of a disaster was nonsense. Escape hatch opened. I guess it's not for the whole dome. No matter. All we need to do is get a good look get a look outside. Just having the hatch open is better anyway, in case there really is a storm or something out there. The escape hatch will close automatically in fifteen minutes. To reopen it, please reboot and try again. It closes on its own? That seems like a risky design. Fifteen minutes isn't enough to get everyone out. Let's go out and take a look before it closes. We're going outside again, Nanaki sensei. If it's safe, we'll organize an evacuation at the gym. Mm, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll come too. Sakazaki, doctor, what will you two do? The doctor was there this whole time? Was he sitting there with the corpse? Hmm. Well, I don't have any more business here. I shall return to the lab. Leaving Hyoko alone with, with another man would hardly be gentlemanly, so I'll go with the doctor. Hyoko. So trustworthy. So trustworthy, and yeah, he, he, he is keeping tabs on the doctor, thank God. Good. Well then, let's go. Kaorakun. Shirogane-kun. Very well. Mm. Where was that hatch? Have you eyes or pickled onions? Right there! The hatch. High above the ground is open. Looks like the control panel worked. Huh. I think everyone should be able to fly up to that. It's a little narrow, so we'll have to go two at a whoops, sorry, two at a time. But outside oh, it's perfectly clear. We can only see the sky. But there is no storm or gale. Nothing but the same calm autumn sky from this morning. No earthquake and no typhoon and the announcement video was a fake. I think it's safest to assume that the whole thing was a lie. I am curious about the state of things out there, but the door closes on its own, so we had best think carefully before going out. We can't see the city at all. We don't really know what's going out. Uh, going out there. Going out there, if anything? I think they missed an one. <laughs> but if there really is no disaster, and this is all some plot surrounding Tosaka, uh, Tosaka's death. Tosaka's death? <laughs> Hyoko's death. Hyoko's death. Then we need more clues. I'll go. Are you sure? We have no guarantee that it's safe out there. It isn't safe here either. Look! The hatch is open! It is! We can go home! No! You're supposed to be in the gym! You shouldn't go out yet! Like heck, we're sticking around with nothing but that bogus expl explanation from earlier. I can't wait any longer. I'm going out. Wait, come back! Come back at once! We don't know if it's safe out there yet! <laughs> that was a gunshot you just heard. <laughs> A 
gunshot. We have to go help him. Calm down, Kawara. You only get shot. You you only get yourself shot as well. But. As if to laugh at my shock, the hatch gives an unpleasant rumble and swings shut. He was shot. As soon as he went out, someone on the other side shot him. It's not a natural disaster. If we go out, we get killed. But why? Yep. So, shit's getting even more, more realer now. <laughs> the realest of real. Also, sorry if I'm stuttering a bit because I was wiping my glasses. Whoops. I'm being... Maybe I'm being a little, uh, OCD about cleaning it. Hi. Because it's... Oh, also, since third class ended, I will actually be right back in a moment. Okie dokie. I still feel like there's schmutz on this. Oh well. Alright, third class. End. Fourth class. We'll, we'll wait for Jenna to come back. I'll take this off the page and lunch a bit more.
Oops, actually, I'll be right back myself. Okay, back. 